to do some tailgate tackle box dollar store lures today we are. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. Glad you're all here. Today I bought, I finally got in my tackle box. Tackle bag I should say. Ten times smaller than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was like an actual backpack, like a, an actual carrying bag. But hey, small's okay too, you know. I just figured I'd go through some of my uh, dollar store lures and this, that, the other thing and show you what's really going on. Let's get right into her. So basically, I only got a few things that are worth a few bucks here. Hold on, let me get you in a better angle to dangle. You see? So I only got you a few things that are really worth anything at all. How I start out with is I got some of these little bastards. Little jiggers. Got a little bit of scent to them, so they're alright. So, we'll, you know, we'll just throw them in the side of the pocket of the bag or something. And then I got some uh, heavier jig heads. So, you know, we'll throw them in one of them buckets. But other than that, all this stuff is like, you know, knife. That's that's worth some money. But uh, this stuff here is all dollar store tackle box, Jim. So we're going to transfer some of this into this and see if we can't make ourselves somewhat of kind of a tackle box type deal thing. Let's get right freaking to her. Oh, check out this Amazon lure thing. Oh, dick. Oh, dick is right. But anyways, we got our one and a half pound fish uh, rope holders there. So they can go in here. Because, you know, they look pretty good in there, right? That's what I'd say. And I can put the smellies in here. Good old smellies can go in the side pockets. Because you don't want to take them out of the bag. Because they got to stay fresh and smelly. So we'll start out with this box here. And we'll just put, you know, the side friggin' things we can find in here. Well, those work great. Oh, yeah, that's, that's freaking just awesome. Now, if you're watching this video, don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification. And don't get jealous over my dollar store tackle box or my hat. Because, you know, it takes a lot of practice to have something like this on your head. But we'll put the jigs in here. Will they fit? Friggin' right they will. There we go. And then we'll uh, figure out what else we're going to do. Let's put all our little doodads in this one. We'll make this a jig section. What do you think? Let me know if that's a good idea or not. I think it's a great good idea. I don't even care if you think it's a bad idea or not. I think it's a great idea. We're gonna take the Amazon specials. They're absolutely just cocked, but I have some lube coming for that, so it's gonna be all right. Separate this to where it's gotta go. Look at these things. Look at them. Look at the colors. Oh, decent. So we'll put these little guys in here. All these guys that are the same size, we'll put in this little area here. We'll keep all the weights together. And then this is the other weight. We'll put all them little guys in there. Now remember, when you catch a fish on these, you're going to lose a fish because the, the hook's going to break before you get her in. Because, you know, these are Amazon specials. So just remember, this is just for the people that like to fish sometimes. If you're a fisherman sometimes, then these are the lures for you. That's just what I'm saying. If you're not out to actually catch fish, go to your local Amazon store and get yourself some lures. And you'll be happier than pagan shit. You're happier than something anyway. I don't know if I'm too happy about this, to be honest with you. These are kind of dickery. But hey, with a little spit of scent on them, they'll be mint. So there we go. There's all the ones with the hooks on them. So now we'll take these dry ones and we'll shove them somewhere. We'll shove all these little guys in there. They're the little glow-in-the-darkers. There we go. We'll shove this hairy fucker somewhere. And we got another big head here. So we'll get him somewhere. And we'll get them somewhere. Let's just throw all these somewhere. I think somewhere is the best place for them to go. Which is somewhere. There you go, see? Somewhere right there. That's perfect. And then we'll put this somewhere right there. Because it's ready to freaking go, that one. What else we got here? Oh, shit. We got some really serious lures here now. Get yourself a little doodad there. Check out that thing. Don't get jealous of that one. That's pretty decent. We'll put him in there. And we'll put... Oh, check out the fish. Decent. We'll put him in here. Slot this in there too because that's what we do we got a little bit of a cluster going on right here but we'll figure it out maybe what the f that happens you just take your thing and go like that and it fixes everything there you go uh oh got her stuck in the cart for the chevy silverado now there we go jim so we get that off so that can go in here with them and then we'll throw the spinner in there too freaking right we will there we go so that's that side look at that there it is so there's our jig box. Now we'll use this one as the uh, sinker box and hooks. Sinker and hooks. So we'll go, oh, look at these. These are just all over the fucking place. They're not even friggin' the same size. That's a big one. How many different friggin' sizes do I got here? You know I'm gonna have to sort these out, right? Frig, dick. Okay, this is ridiculous. I just can't. Well, maybe I can. We sure got a lot of them that are the same size, but looks like it's not gonna really matter, is it? 
tell you one thing when you get these uh dollar store ones you're sure not afraid to send you some uh, lead sinkers 99 percent lead the rest garbage seems to be the way it is right now but hey it is what it is it is terrible what is this coming I just been transferring hooks here, so I didn't think you really want to watch this whole painful hook chance switching over thing going on. Because who wants to watch me transfer hooks? <sighs> Not me. I don't even want to do it, to be honest with you. Like, I got more hooks than a Carter has pills here, and they're just going to come out of here. So I got to figure out something to put in so the hooks stay in there. Never thought about that. I just thought about that right now, I did. We'll transfer little bobbers. Hey, we got, some, we got a few little bobbers here that don't fit, you know, because they're too big you know why would they fit right there we go we'll put them in there and then we have a few of these left over so i'll chop them up in case i want to do something there we go actually we'll put them right in here slide that in there like that there we go decent freaking right that's decent so we got one more little that's good that feels good we'll slap this in here somewhere how about right there sounds good now we'll go and get ourselves something for the hooks i actually have some little bubble wrap here so we'll use that as a separator. It's nothing like having hooks fly all over your tackle box. It's so fucking annoying. So if you just stick some bubble wrap in each one of these, it will prevent your hooks from flying all over the place. Just like that. Hey, and what the hell, we'll even put one right here to stop that from flying around. There we go. So now, oh yeah we do. See the hooks stay right where they wanna be? It's perfect. Because I don't know if you guys agree with me, but when your hooks are all over your tackle box, it's very f***ing frustrating. This stuff here, it's not going to go anywhere. We're good with that. So there we go. Emptied out that piece of crap. We'll shove these in here like this. Perfect. We got a spot for my knife. Look at that. Perfect. We should be good to go. Captain, got some real crappy line here that we'll put in the bag just in case we need some crappy line. You never know when you might need some crappy line. Oh man, that's a nice little bag actually. I'm quite happy with that. I'll put the link below if you want to get yourself one of these little tackle boxes. So just kind of a throw over the shoulder, let's go fishing kind of tackle box. And actually by the looks of it, it's not going to fit that. I wonder where we can put that. I guess we're not going to put that anywhere. Frank, see that's why I was hoping it's a little bit bigger, but that's good enough. So there you go. They're the dirty old, rotten old, stinky old Bilsips tackle box. Just a little guy. And that's all I want. I don't want no big ass tackle box. Actually this tackle box can go right in the garbage. I know some of you are going to say, hey, don't throw that. Okay, I won't. You're right. I'll use that for screws and stuff. But there we go. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. It's just a quick one today. Greg dropped off a window on a tractor. I got to fix tomorrow for him. So we better throw that in the old Chevy Silverado. And uh, this, that, and the other thing. So don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification if you like this kind of video. I'm glad you're all here. Welcome any new subscribers. Until next time, love you all. And you know what to do for now.